this is your singles love reading. Thanks for showing up to watch this video. Um, now, if you're a single Cancer Sun, Moon, or Rising, this video is for you. And then it's also for you if you're kind of trying to spy on a Cancer that you want to get with. So, um, the first thing that I want to look at for April, now it's kind of been tough the last month and maybe halfway through April with that Venus uh, retrograde kind of bring things to the surface. But I want to see what are your particular challenges this month in your love life. Now, King of Swords. I am not sure exactly yet. Let me pull another card with that. Okay, so with the Seven of Cups. Now, the way that I'm taking this is that there have been, with this Venus retrograde, some things revealed to you. You know, you might all of a sudden start realizing like, whoa, this is how I feel. Like, this is kind of scary. And, you know, like I thought about this before. So... Um, maybe you've recently become single. Maybe, you know, recently your partner of 15 years just started to make you nauseous when you look at them. Like, you just hate them all of a sudden. Or you realize, like, wow, they're never going to change. Like, or wow, they're really a huge a-hole. Or wow, they tend to hurt my feelings a lot. Or whatever. Or wow, um, I just don't want this. I mean, it doesn't have to be about them. Um... Or, wow, you know, I really, really love this person. It could be the opposite. But this is for singles. So um, if you've just become single, it's different. Or maybe you've decided, wow, I really love being single and I'm not, you know, particularly looking for love right now. It could be any of those things. But whatever these truths revealed to you over the period of the last month through March, whatever that is, Whatever it was like, you're really feeling it, you're really um, thinking about it now, it's almost as though you're shutting that down. Like you're you're kind of pushing it away. Like you don't want to see it, okay? And um, a good part of the reason why is because it's just... I'm going to get one more with that. Okay. The, the reason why is because you don't want to feel lonely. You don't want to feel isolated. Now, it's interesting because, you know, cancers are known to kind of retreat and go within and, and think their thoughts and feel their feelings. But expressing this to somebody else is really, really challenging. And for a lot of you, it's the fear of um, being alone. Now, this is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate for everybody, but hang in there with me because maybe messages for you specifically are coming if it didn't. Um, but so what I have here going on specifically, at least for um, a few of you cancers, is that maybe you've come to realize, like, I've spent a lot of time with this person and I feel like you know what I've invested so much of my life maybe I invested all of my 20s or all of my 30s or all of my 20s and my 30s in this person and just now I'm going oh man you're not for me but I don't want to give up on that because I put in so much time and effort and work and so I'm scared I'm scared to leave this is what I know. It's what's comfortable. And so you're not having those conversations with them. Now, what happens if you do? And you know, some of you, actually, for the record, I want to say this. Some of you are very aware of what's going on astrologically. And so you might be saying, well, I'm just going to wait for this Venus retrograde to pass and then make my decision because I don't know if it's astrology that's kind of like making me feel that way. Or do I really feel that way about my partner? And you're not wrong to question that. That shows like a lot of... Um, you know, brain power and emotional maturity. But, but what it's saying, so if you, if you tell them, if you say, this is how I'm feeling, you know, and I know this is for singles, but you know, if you, so it doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, somebody who's watching this because you're wondering if you should be single. This could also be like, if I'm single and then, you know, my partner from the past came back because that could totally have happened. Or maybe this is a conversation with yourself, some things that you've realized about yourself, about the kind of people that you attract, um, you know, kind of trying to figure out what you want for your future. If you are honest and you have that conversation with yourself or with others, things really start moving forward for you and they start moving forward for you quickly, quickly, in a positive direction. And um, it's saying that you, you'll you'll end up being surrounded by the right kind of people. You know how they say find your tribe? It's as though that happens, 
okay? Now, what happens if you decide not to deal with these and have these conversations? Well, you're just going to stay in the same energy, unfortunately, where it's like you're kind of thinking about it sometimes, you stuff it down, and then nothing changes, nothing moves, nothing happens. Now, that's your choice. We have free will, but you know it's going to feel the same. So, there's that. Now, um, where are you in regards to love this month energetically? And it's saying this might not be the month where you're at the top of your game, where people just look at you and they're drawn to you and they're attracted to you and like everything you say is right. Every once in a while we have a month like that. It might not be your month. Um, this month you might not be feeling super confident and good, but nobody's actually judging you. It's just as though um, you're not necessarily... You know, like in movies where the princess shows up at the top of the stairs, like Beauty and the Beast, and everybody looks, or Cinderella, right? You, you're, it's not like you're a stepsister, but you're just a girl at the ball, right? Um, not all eyes are on you. So it's, it's a good thing and it's a bad thing because, you know, if you're looking for lots of attention to kind of draw people in, it might be a little bit more challenging, to be honest, this month. But at the same time... There's less chatter. There's less gossip. People aren't talking about you, you know? It's not that you're unseen, that you're unnoticed. Um, it's just maybe not the month where you'll be instantly noticed. So they're like, just remember, though, that this is a good thing because people are not, they're not judging you, you know? Because if you were the person at the top of the stairs, it would be like, you know, out of jealousy or whatever, um, ew, look at her hair, ew. Look at her dress, like, ooh, look at his big nose. Ugh, he thinks he's so arrogant or whatever. And so, you know, if you've been attracting a certain kind of person and that's kind of your energy when you walk into the room, maybe now that creates a different um, type of person that you'll be attracting. But only if you've kind of done that work where you realize the kind of people that you're attracting into your life and that they haven't worked for you. And so you kind of change things up. Now, um, it says, you know, maybe previously you've been attracting people who want different things than you. Where it's like maybe you want to get married or you just want to have a fling and then they're exactly the opposite. So, whoa, excuse me, I'm sorry, I just fell on the floor. Um, they're like, so, you know, this is a really good time to sort of actually be single because new opportunities, new starts, new beginnings, like for something that's like very stable and predictable and comfortable for the future could be coming for you. And it would be something where there's not a lot of suspicion. There's not a lot of anxiety. There's something fresh and new is likely to come for you either in the late spring or the early summer. And we don't really want to... Um, like stay in icky situation. So the sooner that you kind of reflect, you really be that cancer and go within and logically think through and work through some of the um, situations from the past, the sooner you'll attract that into your life. I'm just going to grab these cards quickly. I'm sorry. Okay. So what is your advice for this month? Let me see what we have for cancers. Your advice is not um, necessarily to do much, to make any huge decisions. It's saying that you might not be feeling um, at your best, like we kind of mentioned with that Empress in reverse card, okay? But just going out, having a good time, spending it with friends is going to very much work in your favor. And it's saying... That's because by kind of being in a different element, a different environment, you're going to start attracting different kinds of people. And that's where we're headed. We want something different. That's why we're single now. Okay? So, yay! Um, I'm going to switch decks here. And I want to talk about um, kind of what we've been going through, the lesson that we've been learning over this last month in this Venus retrograde. And then also um, what kind of a lesson we're working on this month all the way through April, you know, as it ends around April 15th, but um, continuing on. So I believe it was Aquarius that also had this card here, um, ownership. 
I'm acknowledging my own misdeeds and accomplishments alike and learning to love them all as lessons. So that's what we've been learning. This is, you know, what we're needing to examine with that King of Swords card. It's saying, okay, so I'm not perfect. You know, people from my past, circumstances, situations, they're not always perfect. But how how did I contribute to that? You know, maybe I stayed too long in a relationship that was shit. Maybe I was too kind and too nice. Maybe I wasn't assertive enough. Maybe I wasn't honest. Maybe I cheated. But, you know, what did I learn from that? Because it's not, it's also about forgiveness. It's like, it's not about that anymore. It's about the lesson and understanding now what I want to manifest for my future. Like l observing these things from the past that didn't work, the things that hurt us, the things that were mistakes, and then deciding that you want something different now. So um, it's not beating yourself up. It's not ruminating on it. It's not, um, you know, beating other people up. It's not sending out a text message saying, gosh, you were a fucking asshole, and I just don't, you know, and I'll never forgive you. No, it's more like, thank you for um, being such a dickhead because now I know the signs of what other dickheads look like and I'll never date somebody like that again. You know, that sort of a thing. So in April, vision, no matter what, you see the bigger picture of a loving and just universe. And so it's saying, you know, it really goes well with this whole idea of ownership that, okay, well, all of these challenges, all these struggles I've had to go through in my personal life, my work life, that they shape me into who I am. And I understand that it's to create, you know, a better version of me. We're constantly evolving so that I can be with somebody also who is super evolved, who's gone through hardship, um, who understands me. Especially for cancers who are so deep feeling, um, who are such big empathizers, you'd be better suited with somebody, you know, that's kind of gone through their own struggles as well and was able to shape those as lessons so they also don't make the same mistakes. So I hope you find that helpful. Love and light and um, best of luck. Bye. Thanks so much for watching my video. Check out terriblyaccurate.com for a personal reading. Follow on Snapchat, like on Facebook.